Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I love this professional approach. Absolutely wonderful, thank you. What an introduction. You know, Formby was already famous in 1933, 32, when he made a record called Chinese Laundry Blues, and it, was, it became George's signature tune, of course. And, uh, uh, you're touching it again. I've never... Oh, it's back again. And uh, George realised, and his wife Belle, of course, that if George was to become more famous and to earn more money, then he needed to get into the medium of films. And he'd been to London two or three times with a script approaching the London filmmakers, and to be honest, they didn't want to know him because he was a northern comedian. But John Blakely went along to see George, and he offered him an opportunity to make a film at Mancunian Studios. And of course, that film uh, was released in 1934. It had its world premiere in Burslem, a wonderful place just down the road near Stoke. But yet, that, that film was really the first, the start of Formby's film career, in which he made 22 films and became the highest paid entertainer in the British Isles. In 1939, George Formby was earning £100,000 a year. And with the other film companies at ATP and at Columbia, they were paying him £35,000 a picture and started at Mancunian Studios. And from that, from that particular film, although George didn't sing it in the film, Beryl, his wife, actually tap danced to it, was the song Chinese Laundry Blues. <laughs> Thank you. 